while loops. While loops are similar to if statements in that they require some Boolean expression as a condition, and its contents will be executed when that condition evaluates to true. However, with a while loop, its code block will be executed over and over while the condition is true. Its form looks like while, parentheses, condition, in parentheses, and then open and close curly braces for the instructions to run. Because the loop continues while the condition is true, if nothing inside the while loop causes its condition to become false, we will get an infinite loop. For example, if we say while x is less than 10, output x, x here never gets updated, and the while loop continues forever. But if we put x++ within the while loop, eventually the condition will become false. We can use a while loop to create a counter, such as initializing an int count to 1 and having while count is less than or equal to 10, see out count, and then add 1 to count each iteration. Though for loops are generally better for counting. We could use it for input validation. Don't let the program continue until the user's input is valid. So let's say we display 1 to 10 and get the user's input. We can say while num is less than 1, or num is greater than 10, then display invalid input and ask them to input it again. After the while loop, we will know that num is a valid value. We could also keep the program running until the user chooses a quit option. So we could have bool running is true. While running, then we could display a menu, get the user choice. If choice is quit, then set running to false, and then the program will quit after that. Each time through a loop is known as an iteration, the contents of the loop will execute, then the condition will be evaluated again, and if it's true, then the loop executes another iteration. Within our loop, we can use the break command to exit the loop before the condition evaluates to false. So for instance, while running, we can get an input for numerator and denominator. If denominator is equal to zero, then we break. It's not considered good design to rely on break instead of just changing the condition of the state to false, but this can be useful if an error is encountered. We could also use the continue command to skip over one iteration and continue the loop. So let's say we're in a loop, one is added to the denominator each time, we can say if the denominator is equal to zero this time, we'll skip it and use continue to do so. While loops are a useful way to continue running a set of instructions while some condition is true, but we need to be cautious of infinite loops.